there's a traditional two-part challenge with storage in VMware environments. The first part is that VMware administrators have no direct visibility into the storage that's supporting their VMware environment. And the storage in the VMware environment is critical. It supports the cluster, it defines the performance envelope from a storage standpoint for all the VMs that are using it, and it's critical to support advanced VMware functions. The second part is that storage administrators themselves have no visibility normally into VMware environments. This means that it can be more difficult than it needs to be to determine best layout for performance optimization, for capacity utilization, to do root cause analysis when there's a problem, whether it's performance or availability. EMC's been diligently working on this problem. The first part was to deliver an answer for the VMware administrators, which we've done via a simple vCenter plugin, the EMC Storage Viewer. This uh, EMC Storage Viewer uh, vCenter plugin provides integrated visibility from the virtual machine all the way through to the backend storage it's using at the array level and how that storage is configured. The second part was to answer the question for the storage administrators. Now, in large enterprises, this is done via storage resource management tools like Control Center and Storage Scope. And these EMC tools were the first enterprise storage resource management tools that integrated with vCenter and ESX APIs and uh, met VMware's VMware Ready uh, certification. They deliver an end-to-end -end view for storage administrators all the way through to the VM. But for mid-size enterprise customers, the next step design was to directly integrate that sort of functionality into the array element managers themselves, the tools that people use to manage EMC storage arrays. And this would create a simple solution for customers of every size, from the smallest all the way to the largest. That degree of array element integration is coming in the next release of Navisphere, which adds VMware awareness. Here we can see the dilemma as it stands today. This is an EMC array, and like all EMC arrays, it provides a simple, easy management interface where you can navigate to storage objects like LUNs here, and look at what hosts are being used by that LUN, for example, here to ESX servers. But the dilemma is, is that if you take a more detailed view, there's no way for the storage administrator to see, for those individual ESX hosts, what VMs are being used by those storage objects. In other words, they only have visibility to the storage level of granularity. If we take a look at this another way, we take a look at all of the ESX hosts, uh, navigating to this section of the menu, it's simple and easy to see how storage is being used by hosts, but there's no simple and easy way to see how it's being used by the individual VMs on that ESX cluster. This is the dilemma and the current state of the union for almost all storage array management software from all vendors today. VMware Navisphere directly integrates with vCenter, both Virtual Center 2.5 and vCenter 4.0. EMC and VMware work together so that vSphere itself even automatically uh, registers the ESX host with EMC Clarion and other EMC products. Here, let's authenticate with vCenter. After the simple authentication steps, which only require read-only access, all ESX hosts and virtual machines hosts can also be manually added. So here, let's actually use the wizard. We'll add either a Virtual Center 2.5 or a vCenter 4.0 server by specifying either the host name or the IP address. Then we're going to provide the credentials that are required to log in uh, to the database via the VI SDK. Uh, here we're using the administrative user, but once again, as noted earlier, this can be a user that just has read-only access to the database. And that immediately starts to build a map. Here you can see that that uh, uh, vCenter instance had those three ESX hosts that are being actively managed by that uh, vCenter host. And as we finish this discovery process, it updates everything that's visible within the Navisphere management GUI. So what this now means is that the storage administrator has that end-to-end -end view that is required for them to be as effective as possible. Recall earlier that we only had visibility to the ESX host layer and how the storage was being used by those ESX servers. Now, the storage administrator has, within the context that they're used to, detailed drill downs that show what virtual machines exist on those ESX hosts. So on these two ESX servers, you can see that there's several uh, VMs listed. And if we navigate to the property dialogs, you can see detailed information about the storage that's actually being used for any one of the individual VMs. So for example, note that if we 
take a look at properties and we see that it's an ESX server uh, 3.5 we navigate to virtual machines you can see all sorts of information around the individual VMs including the host names the IP addresses if they're running VMware tools and if we click on an individual VM you can see the storage that's being actively used for that individual VM including here since it is running VMware tools inside the guest all sorts of detailed information about what's inside the guest operating system itself in the storage tab we can see all of the LUNs and all of the details now one of the things that's great about VMware is that it makes the environment much much more dynamic with VMs moving from one ESX host either manually like we're going to do here via vMotion activity or completely on an automated policy driven basis using DRS on very large clusters it's not uncommon to have DRS moving VMs thousands or even tens of thousands of times a month and that sort of dynamic data center is a good thing because it allows the uh, VMware environment to be much much more efficient than with a static type of configuration even if it was normally fairly highly consolidated however the tools need to be able to understand and adapt to that very very dynamic data center so the question here is we've just started a vMotion of one VM from one ESX host to another will the VMware aware Navisphere reflect that dynamic data center because if the storage administrators view doesn't reflect what the VMware administrator has done on the server side then the tool begins to have limited use so here we can see that this vMotion has been uh, just about completed completely live moving VSI demo VM uh, vMotion 1 from one ESX host to another selecting one several or all the ESX hosts and doing a refresh immediately reflects the current environment so when a request comes in to optimize or root cause a VM, the storage administrator gets the immediate picture of a very dynamic environment. Let's say you start small, but you need to grow. EMC Storage is there ready to support you, starting at the smallest end of the scale and growing non-disruptively up to the largest environments, supporting thousands of VMs. They can change any attribute non-disruptively, including I.O. ports, disks, growing LUNs and file systems, and adding both capacity and performance on the fly. They support every single protocol that VMware can use. And at every scale, EMC arrays can take VMware integrated snapshots and integrate with VMware Site Recovery Manager. But when you get big and you're thinking about very large scale environments, the management tools themselves need to think about and be designed for scale. To give one example here, think about a simple search function. For example, imagine a storage administrator gets a request to make a storage for a given VM faster, but there's a thousand VMs. Normally, figuring out which one that is and on what storage that exists can be very hard. VMAware Navisphere can make this much, much simpler. You can search for a wide set of attributes at the storage or at the VM level. Here in this example, let's search for the VM by the name that the VMware administrator sees within vCenter. In seconds, we can find that VM, potentially among thousands, based on a simple search query. EMC delivers more VMware integration around vStorage, vCenter, backup, disaster recovery, security, and resource management than any other VMware technology partner. And we do it because we share a common goal and a common vision, 100% virtualized data centers supporting every application at every scale, and eventually private clouds. We do it so that we can make managing infrastructure, both virtual and physical, simple and easy for our joint customers. VMWareWare Navi is a great example of where we're taking our products. Thanks, and have a great day. Oh, there's actually one more thing that's a nice little treat for customers using EMC Clarion Arrays with VMware vSphere. If you navigate to any vSphere host, whether it's running ESX or ESXi, and navigate to Advanced Settings, you'll see that there's a default setting that completely automates the process of registering that host with the Clarion. This means that there's no need for Navisphere agents in the service console or otherwise, and it's just one little thing that makes managing storage in VMware environments that much easier if you're using EMC platforms. For customers using EMC Solera and EMC Symmetrics platforms, stay tuned. There's lots of treats on the way.